have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that because you don't know who you're going to be. Just a little warm here. <laughs> So I've been for a run today and I've also been to the gym to get my leg workout in today, trying to get that weight lifting in so I can have nice strong legs. But in this video, I really wanted to take a moment to talk about one of the things that you really need to know about if you're going to the gym to work out, if you're getting a new gym membership, if you've never been to a gym before, just this one thing that I want you to think about. <laughs> A lot of times when people go to the gym or they get a new gym membership, they wonder whether, you know, this gym is really going to fit my needs. Is it the kind of gym I'm looking for? Is it a family atmosphere? Do they have childcare? Or is it a gym that's for competitors? So you're always looking for this gym that's going to fit your needs, the physical part of it. But what about the mental aspect? You guys know, if you follow my channel, I don't just talk about health and fitness from a physical standpoint, but I'm very concerned about us taking care of our mental health. There have been many times on my videos when I've talked about walking into a gym and there just being too many people, it being too loud, the music's too loud, there's just noise from all of the weights, and I'm an introvert, and all of that is just way too much at 5 a.m. in the morning. However, this one thing is something that really sort of caught my attention. And yes, all of those other things were going on, but I had to sort of take a step back and actually consider the fact that this was something else that was going on too. It had a lot to do with the type of people that I surrounded myself with at the gym. I know a lot of the staff at the gym because I've been at the gym since, oh my gosh, oh, since, I think it's like 13 or 14 years now, something like that. Anyway, I've been at this gym for a very long time. So yes, I know a lot of the staff, but there is a certain personality type at the gym that I am now just going to call gym vampires. These people are the people who you find that suck your energy dry when you're around them. There are people in there that are working out, they're getting their workout in. You feel motivated when you see them. He's a smart one. Oh, wow. And when they walk by, you're like, dude, I can lift more than you. I, you know, you have that kind of feeling when you see them because they push themselves. And as a result, you're in this environment where you feel like I can push myself to be my best self too. However, there are some people in the gym who literally will suck you dry. They come in in a crappy mood. They even carry themselves in a way that they're already down when they come in and they stay down the entire time time that they're there. I have found that I need to limit my proximity to those people, number one. And when I am in close proximity to them, I need to limit the amount of time that I spend around them. I'm telling you, I have learned that that has been one of the issues that I have run into in the gym. I'm telling you so that when you walk in, you're aware of who's there and what kind of vibe they're bringing into your space when you're around them. And that you find your group, whether it's a fitness class, whether it's a group of women, a, a mixed group, couples, family, whatever it is, that the people who are in your core group at the gym are not filled with people who after they leave, like you feel worse than you felt before. Like the gym should not be this place where after you leave, you're in a bad mental space. And so I've definitely found that I have to limit my time with them and literally like take another path to different machines so that I don't run into them and have to talk to them. 
but just my tip i wanted you to think about that <laughs> if you're thinking about going to the gym or if you're wondering sometimes when you're leaving the gym that was kind of weird or i don't know about that person i don't know what's going on assess what's going on with you who you surround yourself with think positive vibes i want to surround myself with people who are uplifting because that's where i want to be so Hope you got something out of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and mwah, peace to you.